welcome back to another video so i received the following comment regarding fusion and objects that are imported in obj file format they will no longer have the texture when rendering with infusion so this is a case study part i will also put the link um, in the video description and as we can see with infusion we have the texture loaded within the viewport but afterwards within the final render the texture will disappear so in this case um, i see that for uh, for this the texture hasn't been uh, white so it has a um, black material and a specular highlight over here so let's see if we can uh, tweak the settings we see over here that for the performance options there are no changes that can be done the main problem regarding this is that obj file formats they don't have the material um, defined um, by the appearance system with infusion as we can see over here we see that currently <clears throat> in the scene so in this design where i only imported um, the object using the the import workflow this will have the still satin um, mesh appearance so actually this will be the, um, the rendering output even though within the viewport it uh, it had that texture so if i will try to adjust that for example i made it uh, red now if i will do another render the red material will um, pass through so as we can see over here within the second render the the ceramic um, pot will be red so i will just stop the rendering because uh, we already see the the texture over here so if i will press ctrl z to undo that change to the material within the viewport the texture will be properly displayed but again if i will try to do the render so this is a local rendering <coughs> And we're gonna see that um, still that uh, default uh, steel material will appear over here. So let's take a look at uh, if there are some other changes that we can do. So we have the appearance, which we already open. This is the material library from Fusion. And um, as we can see over here within this design, we have that material applied. I will try to have this unassigned. But as we can see, I can do that <coughs> since we still need to have at least one material in, in the scene. So if I will select that, I can go with edit, select object, apply to, in this case will be the pot, but I cannot um, remove that. And if I'm going to check the part, so we have the measure units, we have the origin over here, and we have the body. But as we can see within the scene, there are no materials added. Yet within the viewport, we can see that uh, texture that was loaded when we imported the OBJ file. Let me try to apply a different material. So I will try to apply this fabric white material, just as a case study. And we're going to see that... Um, now I have the possibility to select the existing material, but still I cannot have that deleted. But I can unassign and delete the one that I just added. But again, we are still going to have that default material within the scene, which is this one. Other than that, there are the scene settings, but these are mostly regarding the other elements of the, <coughs> the environment, not the material on the object. As we can see over here, uh, I search on um, Gemini, what would be the problems? And uh, let's see, we have over here that the texture file is not in the same folder. Well, they have been on load. So this isn't um, a result for this. 
The other one is regarding uh, the relative paths. So if the MTL files specify the path, so I think that this is the main problem with um, OBJ files. Even though when they are loaded, <coughs> I only select one of the elements, which in this case is the OBJ file format. When imported on load, it will also read the MTL file, which is this one. If I will go and have this open with Notepad, we're going to see that in this case, I made use of Blender 4.0.2 to generate this. And uh, this will be the path. <coughs> Sorry. So as you can see, the map will be over here. Vaso, that JPEG, which is within the same folder. So this has been generated uh, over here from Blender, just like I showed it in my previous video. And uh, the information should be over here. But I think that uh, one of the main problem is that Fusion rendering does not actually support OBJ file formats. But um, <coughs> the viewport within Fusion has been updated in order to be compatible to visualize OBJ and unwrap mapping. But they are not uh, compatible further on the, the rendering pi pipeline. So as you can see over here within the render settings, incom incompatible uh, rendering engine, some rendering engines uh, might not fully support texture from OBJ files. And I think that this is the problem regarding this. <clears throat> as you can see over here, try using a different rendering engine, but unfortunately Fusion only has one. It is not uh, the same as, for example, 3ds Max or um, Cinema 4D or SketchUp, where we can add different engines and we can change that at will. It only has a single one. So, for example, uh, if I were to use uh, Keyshot, this would read that without any problems. As you can see over here, I'm using Keyshot 9, which is an older version. It's currently up to version 12, I think. If not even a, a newer one has been released. It is no longer uh, named uh, 9, 10. Uh, starting from uh, 11 or 12, they added the, the year afterwards. So it's Keyshot 2024. So when I import the pot object over here within Keyshot, if I will go uh, to the material with the default settings, the object will be loaded like this. And uh, we're going to have that added. And also within Keyshot, if I will uh, send this to, the, um, to be processed, this will keep the texture because Keyshot, just like Blender, will know how to use uh, OBJ files that make use of um, UV mapping. So in order to, to give you the best um, solution to this would be to have the renderings done in a different software solution. So if you don't have access to, to Keyshot, since this is a paid version, you can make use of Blender and you can do the rendering directly over here. You should just transfer the files from Fusion. And if you have some kind of animations that you want to keep, it's usually the best idea to have those recreated over here within Fusion, uh, within Blender, sorry. Okay, so I hope that... Um, you find this video useful, I will position a similar video on the left side. I will also add the Fusion playlist over here at the top, and I will also put a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.